Okay, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how you can use the symmetry modifier uh, with Sculpties inside of Prim Composer for 3ds Max. So let's go to the Create panel and under the Create panel select Prim Composer. Then I'm going to create a sculpt shape, an editable poly cylinder shaped uh, sculpty here and just click in the same to create it. Let's take a quick look at uh, this. I'll go ahead and make a copy of that. And let's look at the original. Uh, let's uh, go to the modify panel and add a, an unwrapped UVW modifier. And then uh, click the edit button uh, in the rollout. So this shows the UVW map uh, for the Sculpty and as you can see it's a regular grid that covers the entire uh, 0 to 1 space of the UV map. So this is what we're looking for. Alright let's go to the let's go to the copy and uh, we'll just make some changes to this. Let's uh, go into vertex uh, edit mode and we'll use the uh, soft selection uh, and we'll just paint a selection on here and I'll just pull these out to change the geometry a little bit let's pull this out a little bit more okay so now what I want to do is to replicate that to mirror that uh, using the symmetry modifier. So let's go to uh, go here and add a symmetry modifier. And uh, let's mirror on the Z axis. And as you can see now our sculpty is very nicely mirrored. So we have this uh, on both sides. Now, let's see what happens uh, if we export this. So we'll go up and we'll export selected. I'm going to export it to the project junk. And it exports fine. I'm happy. Now let's re import it and see what it looks like. So I'll go to Prem Composer Import. And I'll import it back into the scene. Now, this is not what I want. I only have half a sculpt to here. So what's going on with this? All right, let's go back to our symmetry, symmetry sculpt to here. Okay, so let's apply an unwrap UVW modifier and and see see what's going on. We'll apply unwrap UVW and I'll press edit. And as you can see, the UVW map is not correct. It needs to go all the way from the left side to the right side and cover the entire 0 to 1 space. Let's see if we can fix this. Let's press uh, select element in the UVW uh, editor. And now we've selected half of the vertices. And let's just move this so that it goes all the way over to this left edge. And then we'll select the other side and move it over so that it goes all the way to the right edge. Well, that looks pretty good. We still have two seams here. I'm not sure if this is what I want, but let's let's see what happens. I'll export selected. And 
and I'll re-import it back into 3ds Max. Ew. Well, that's certainly better than what we had before. I mean, at least we have two sides. But you can see we've got some really weird things going on here. It's it's black on this left side, which means that that's actually showing the inside of the sculpty rather than the outside. Um, and then we've got this discontinuity here. So we're going to need to do something else. That that clearly wasn't enough. Let's move that over as our second attempt. Let's take a quick look at the original UV map. If we look down the seam, and we can see if we're selecting things in the UV map, if we're over on the left side, then it actually starts on the right side. And as we go along, the points go around in a counterclockwise direction looking from the top. So that when you get all the way over to the other side of the UV map, it's now coming in on the left side. So we're going right around to the left, meeting back at the seam. Let's take a look at what's going on in our symmetry sculpty here. We edit this and we select over to the left side. Uh, let's turn off select element. Okay, that's the same way. It's starting on the right side. It's moving around. What happens when we go to the other side? And we see it actually shows up on the other side. So what's actually happened here, and you, you'll have to play around with this so that you fully understand it, but um, this element is actually backwards. It needs to be flipped horizontally. So I'll just select the whole thing by element and uh, I'll do a flip horizontal. And now if I click on this side, I turn off select element. Now if I click here, this is where I want it. So now it's going from the right side all the way around and then when we click here we're on the left side okay but we still have a seam here and I, I don't I only want we have two seams and I only want one seam so what I'm going to do is uh, select these uh, vertexes in the center and then I'm going to go up to tools and weld selected and now if we look you can see that elim that eliminates the seam on the back side okay so let's export this and see what happens export selected and we'll re-import it into 3ds max to see what it looks like and hello now we have our sculpty with the symmetry modifier and let's just move this over so that we can see it beside our original and there we go this is the sculpty that we created with the symmetry modifier and then we modified the UV map with unwrap UVW. 
Then we exported it and re-imported it into uh, 3ds Max, and this is our Sculpty uh, as it would look in Second Life. So you can see that it's uh, there. There are some steps to using the symmetry modifier, uh, and 3ds Max uh, messes up the UV maps. So you have to fix that, but with just a few steps, we were able to get it to work.